uh, how are you all and uh, I hope you are doing good in your uh, learning of uh, Big Data too. So we have covered so far uh, the uh, creation of HDFS, uh, the setup of multi-node cluster or single node cluster on, on Big Data uh, using a Cloud Data Manager or Ambari. So today we are going to uh, run a job on, on on HDFS so we are going to use map reduce and uh, that is the processing layer and we are going to submit a job and we are going to uh, have a live uh, demo on that okay uh, so as I already have this setup with me so I have a single load cluster currently and I'm gonna use this for uh, demo purpose so and uh, before you start make sure that you have uh, all the processes running uh, like uh, resource manager, uh, history manager, node manager to handle the jobs, okay? And you should have, of course, HDFS running. So if you just do uh, sudo JPS, so it is, it is showing that all the components are up. Okay, so I have also opened the, uh, the 8088, which is a resource manager console. So you can see there are no applications currently. So we are going to submit a job and we are going to run that okay so how we are going to do that we are going to see okay so first of all uh, we are going to run a job through jar so usually the jar file will be available in your hadoop home folder in your lib, hadoop home lib folder and if you have set up cloud era then it should be in your user lib uh, uh, hadoop map reduce okay uh, so so I hope you should be able to find this here. Okay, so you can see, uh, yeah, Hadoop map reduce examples dot jar. Okay, so let me just check if my recording is started. Fine. So yeah, so this is your example dot jar, which is com containing the common uh, basic examples that we have to run on the on on a, on a file okay on a data so uh, let's just go back to HDFS because you have to run all these uh, jobs through HDFS user so you, you make sure you switch to HDFS and then you do jar I'm sorry uh, you run Hadoop so and let's just increase the font so that it will be easily visible Hadoop jar and then you have to specify the uh, the jar file so I'll again go back to that folder user lib hadoop map reduce and then here I have this hadoop map reduce minus example dot jar okay so if you run this uh, with the jar file it will give you a set of applications or set of programs that is available within this jar okay and that can be uh, executed on a file okay so you can see we have aggregate word count we have word count we have word mean we have uh, sudoku solver okay so we have we have so many things that you can do so first of all we'll just have a look on the uh, word count file okay so what we'll do is let's just create a sample file on which we are going to uh, run this uh, job okay so this is a test file for demo purpose and save it and uh, let me just upload this file to my HDFS better make a directory Okay. Once the directory is created, we will upload this test file into into HDFS Shanky folder. Okay. Yeah. So my folder is created and uploaded the test file there. Okay. So now now what I'm going to do is uh, I am going to run this job word count job Hadoop jar 
and then you have to specify the application like the program that you want to execute so if you run this it will ask you the use it will give you a usage help showing that you need to specify the input file and you have to specify so you can specify uh, more than one uh, input files at a time or you can specify a folder in which it will work on all the files which is there in that folder and then you have to specify an output directory okay so currently we are going to work only on a single file which is there on my hdfs and then let's just specify as an output for file as well folder so let's just try to run it and see what is happening okay so it is connecting to resource manager and then it will uh, try to process this file so total number of input fine to process one number of speaks so depending on the size of the file if it is a huge file they will split the file into small small parts and here you can see the number of split is only one and you can see that there is an application id which is shown here which is a unique id for every job that you run and then you will be shown uh, a url okay uh, to access this this is the same url and you, if you go here to your console and if you just click or, or you just refresh this, refresh this page so you should be able to uh, access the uh, newly submitted job okay yeah so we'll just wait for some time because uh, whenever we run this job it takes consumes a lot of memory so So we wait for some time. So the requirement is you should have at least uh, 10 GB of uh, memory uh, uh, RAM because uh, it requires a lot of memory too. So because that is the reason. So in my system, it is uh, there is a le very less free memory. So it is that is the reason it is hanging. Okay. So as you can see, this is the URL, so uh, H0AA, this is your console, and then this is the application name. So if you click this, it will take you to this, the same, this, this page, okay? So, yeah, so as you can see, the application submit account has become one, okay? And see this is the job that we have submitted which is matching with your uh, the, the job ID here on the console and see the name of the job is a word count and we are running through HTFS user and the state is accepted and then it is still in progress okay so while we go back to our terminal So let me just check. I'll just temporarily stop. I'll just pause the video and wait for the complete. Okay, so now the job is completed. So we'll go back and check this again. So this is the console. So you can see uh, the job state is finished and is succeeded. So we go back to finished uh, link and you can see this job is completed so if you click on this job so we'll have all this detail like the state is finished and su succeeded okay uh, and then if you click on logs you will be able to find out the logs okay so we are going to uh, go and check the log on the server so what you have to do is you have to uh, go to where log okay so here you have to go to hadoop uh, map reduce okay and here you'll be able to see uh, the the log okay so what you can do is either you can grab with uh, your job id which is there in your uh, uh, in 
this is your job ID, this is your application ID, so you can search with this. Okay, uh, so so you can search with this job ID in your output. Okay, uh, one second, let me just open this. It is not showing here. So yeah. Okay. Uh, so it is showing here I succeeded. Okay. Why don't we just go on the uh, server? Uh, we go on the on the console and we'll check whether it is uh, whether any output is generated or not. So we open this uh, uh, the HTFS go back to uh, file system so here you see this is our folder right okay so this is our file that we have given and this is the output which is generated so as you can see it is successful and this is your uh, your output which is which is created okay uh, so here I think there is some issue with this uh, name I just use localhost as you can see this is uh, this is the output which is generated so we go and try to open this okay so you can see uh, this is the output this is a file that we had given and it is counting the words line by line and this is the output which is generated okay so we go back to this uh, so here uh, we go back and this is the output which is generated and coming back to uh, temp location where it will store the uh, Hadoop yarn staging and then you have to go to history to check the jobs and then you have to go to a particular date which is today's date okay so this is uh, yeah so this is your output which is generated so if you click on this so it will download this file so i have downloaded this here yeah so this is the output which is which is a complete output uh, you will get okay so you all will get all the details of the job and all the information this is your job id okay so so total number of maps, total number of reduce that is my folder is one. Okay, so you can get all the information like you know file number of bytes read, number of bytes written, okay, and everything number of read operations. So this is a detailed analysis of the uh, file. So you can see uh, uh, map output records eight. Combine and put records eight. Okay, so yeah, so this is how it is working, which is which is the word count here, which is showing as eight. Okay, so this is what this is all I wanted to share in this job. And again, let's try to run one more job here. So, so another thing that you can do is uh, you can uh, let's just try to run the Sudoku solver as well. So now we are going to run the Sudoku solver. Okay, so we have this uh, Sudoku solver program in this one. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to we have you have you need to input file which you are going to uh, use as a as a puzzle file. So you see it is asking for a puzzle. Okay, uh, so so what you need is you need a text file uh, which is nine cross nine. Uh, file containing all the uh, values except the places where it is blank you need to have a question mark so for example I, I'll, I'll just uh, uh, give you we have a test we have a, a demo file here so I'll just uh, let me just find it out puzzle 1.dpa okay so Okay, so you can 
see we have a sample file already present in your uh, user share doc Hadoop map reduce folder so we are going to use this file as the input file so you will be having uh, input file like this so the numbers will be there and the places which are blank which we need to fill it as a Sudoku solver is to be put as a question mark okay so we are going to use this as an input file okay so we are going back here and we will use this input file as our person file Okay, so if you run this, so you can see solving the puzzle file and you will get an output. Okay, and having only one solution. So if, if you have it is as having more than one solution, that will also be shown. Okay, so you can see this is your input 8, 5 and then question mark is will be 1. So this is how the Sudoku has been solved using this uh, job. Okay, so so this is how you can do it and uh, this is very interesting and if you uh, want to submit a job you want to start this is a basic tutorial for that and uh, that's all in this tutorial if you like this tutorial if it really helped you please give a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, that will encourage me uh, thanks for watching